I am Annika from Annika's DIY Life and I am here to inspire and empower you with lots of beginner friendly DIY, woodworking and home improvement projects. So today we are actually talking about my staircase makeover. So I actually made over the staircase about 18 months ago when we redid the flooring and the entire kitchen entryway and in fact we actually redid the entire kitchen and I have videos on the flooring and the kitchen everything in the video library and I'll add links to all of that in the description below. But I get a lot of questions about the staircase itself because the staircase makeover was just a tiny part of that flooring video. So let me give you a little bit of history and background on the stairs. When we bought the house, the stairs had carpet on it and we got rid of all of the carpet because the previous owners had four pets and the carpet was gross and it needed to go. And we installed vinyl plank flooring in the kitchen, the entryway and the staircase because all of those areas are sort of connected. Actually ended up hiring contractors to do it because we only had one week between closing on the house and moving in and there was no way I could do it. So this is what the stairs looked like for a couple of years and I did install those stair risers and I actually redid them and I'll show you exactly how in a little bit. But if you saw the flooring video, you'll see that the flooring was not installed correctly. It started to come apart and we had to redo the entire flooring again. And that included redoing the staircase as well. So this entire video is going to be a little bit backwards because I'm gonna show you how to uninstall vinyl plank flooring. And then I'm gonna show you how to install vinyl plank flooring. And then we'll talk about the stair risers. So first up is the demo of the vinyl plank flooring, which honestly, it was probably the hardest part of this entire flooring project. Now vinyl plank flooring on the staircase is actually glued with industrial strength adhesive to the subfloor. So removing that was a nightmare and we tried a bunch of things and finally figured out that the best way to do this was to make some relief cuts with an oscillating tool break away the stair nose and then use a chisel to slowly pull up the entire plank off of the subfloor. It took a lot of elbow grease and a lot of patience, but we finally got it all off. And then we had to scrape and remove any remaining adhesive from the subfloor as well. But now we have a clean slate to start installing the vinyl plank flooring. Now every step on the staircase is made up of two parts. You've got the vinyl plank, which is your regular flooring plank, and then you have the stair nose. The stair nose is actually the most expensive part of this entire project. So anytime you get a quote or decide to figure out how much your staircase is gonna cost, the stair nose itself is going to make up a huge chunk of that. The stair nose has to sit flush against the front of the step. So you want to cut down the width of the flooring accordingly. I use my table saw to do this. You can also use a jigsaw or you can use a very sharp utility knife to make that cut as well. Once you have the sizes set, you can apply industrial strength adhesive and put everything in place. and then put down some weights while the adhesive cures. Now the corners can be a little bit tricky because there are some angles involved. Most of them are 45 degree angles, but you can have others if you have a very fancy staircase. But I recommend using a miter saw or at least using a miter box to make those cuts so you get them nice and accurate. I had to use a combination of a miter saw and a jigsaw to get that exact match and fit. And then you just glue it in place. Now I didn't record that, but I did use a pin nailer for all of these tiny pieces so it could hold it in place while the adhesive cured. And that is how you install vinyl plank flooring on a staircase. Of course, you can see we ran out of weights, so we used a whole bunch of paint cans. 
Now let's talk about the stair risers, which to me is the fun part of the project. I actually use the same pattern and design as I did the first time around uh, because I really, really liked it and I couldn't think of anything that would look better than that. Of course, that was silver, this time I used black, but let me show you exactly how I did it. I started out by measuring each stair riser. You really do want to measure the width and the length of every single riser and note it down because there can be variations between one step to the other. Once I had all the dimensions, I went ahead and set up my table saw. I am using 5mm underlayment plywood. I simply went ahead and ripped up the plywood into the strips that I needed for the width of each of the stair risers. I am using a table saw but last time around I actually used what is called a blade runner. So if you don't have a table saw I would recommend getting the blade runner which basically is like a mini jigsaw installed in a table and it's a lot safer than a table saw. And you can use it for many different purposes including as a scroll saw. Once I had all the widths cut out I went ahead and cut them down to the length I needed on my miter saw. Now time to paint. I decided to use my paint sprayer for this so I went ahead and set up the spray tent and lined up every single stair riser flat and ready to paint. Then I just went ahead and applied primer and a few coats of paint. Now the stairs are ready to add the pattern to, but before I do that, I had to exactly line them up in the order that the stairs are in. I had actually noted the numbers on the back of the risers, so I used that and set it all up, made sure they were all aligned exactly how they were going to be on the stairs. Then I went ahead and marked 3 inch intervals along all of the stair risers. This part takes a little bit of patience and yes, you do need to mark all the intervals and make sure that they are super accurate or the pattern will be a little bit wonky. Once I had all the intervals marked, I used a black paint pen and started drawing diagonal lines across every other stair riser. It's a lot of lines, but you sort of get into a rhythm after a little bit. One thing to remember is to wipe down the stair risers between the process because you don't want ink smudging from one riser to the other. Once one direction was done, I went ahead and repeated the exact same thing to and drew diagonal lines in the opposite direction, completing the zigzag pattern all the way to the top of the stair risers. Now it's time to install. The stair risers are nice and snug, so I did need to apply a tiny bit of pressure with a mallet to get it in there. You could glue it on using liquid nails, but I decided not to. I simply tack them in place using finished nails. This way, if I ever decide I wanna change it out, I can easily pull them off and switch them out. Once they were all attached, I used some caulking on the edges to give them a nice seamless look. And that is it. That is the staircase. It has been a bit of a process getting here, but I am very, very happy with how it's turned out for now. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed because I have another fun project in progress here that I cannot wait to show you. Bye.